So when you have this fault, it means you most likely have an outdoor PC board. I always check it. So how I do that is first thing I do is just make sure that there's power getting to the outdoor unit. Line neutral earth should be 240 volts. Just quietly, that pipe run is too short. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the reason for the fault is most likely that. Um, anyway, so there's power there, which there is. I've already tested it. Now on the board, there's two fuses. There's one down there, which has got 240 volts going through it. So I know there's power being supplied from the switchboard to the unit. There's power being supplied to the PC board. And then there's another fuse uh, just there. That is a 240 volt fuse. There should be 240 volts either side of it. And there's nothing. So basically, yeah, there's power going to the board. Something inside the board is, has failed and um yeah there's no power going through that fuse so basically to fix the problem we're just going to replace that and yeah that's what we're gonna do but anyway that one's an easy one this faulty pc board takes two seconds you just see if the outdoor unit's got power if it does go onto the board does that have power yes it does and almost every time one of the fuses just doesn't have power going through it when it should so that's the problem that board just there easy one so now that we've established that the board's faulty just before i go i just want to make sure that something hasn't taken it out so what i normally do is get the electronic expansion valve coil which is s20 that goes to the expansion valve coil um, and basically test that so there will be five plugs red is common so between red and blue red and orange red and yellow red and white it should be um, well in this case it's 47 ohms on each one and then if you go between blue and orange, you know, yellow and white and like, just don't use the common, it'll be double that. So 94, it's so basically in between red and the rest of them, it's 47. And across when you don't use red and just go across each other, um, it's 94. So it's perfect. It's basically just double. Um, so that's how you test that. that way so I know that's not faulty because trust me that can take out a board if it is so hard to do with one hand I'll plug that in and get the camera down but um yeah now I'm just gonna test the compressor and that's it but yeah basically that's the problem And yeah, if you're in tech, just check the components um, before you like, because if you come back and just replace the board and then it blows straight away because you've got a faulty component. Yeah, so I just check the compressor, fan and expansion valve. But in this case, this is an R32 unit, so it's not that old. And it's already starting to rust out. Um, but we've got pretty harsh environments here in Australia, on the coast, literally just like on the beach here, so unfortunately that's what happens. But the annoying thing is, it's um, if you're an installer, you always need to put an isolator on like the wall here because like I should, should be able to just isolate it, do the repair, turn it back on, but in this case there's no switch. So, but anyway, whatever. Alright, done.